Hey guys, happy Thursday night. L here with Black Widow projects going on. So here's what I got here. I have been sitting here all night cutting on cardboard. Trust me, all night. And I keep getting the wrong shape, and I keep getting the wrong sizes, and I couldn't figure out the foundation platform for this. So here's what I came up with, and I want some opinions. I want to know if you guys like it, if you have an idea of what I could do different. This is just my first um, time trying to build this. So I started out with the triangles on the sides. As you can see, I can show you uh, the triangles on the sides here. Which I just kind of measured where it went from the little quick release tab there down. How far over. And then how far here. I mean, it's not perfect. It's hot glued here and I got a scotch tape here. I was trying to come up with a template right now. So that's that triangle. And then basically, this is another triangle that kind of curves around and then comes straight out to make your flare right here. See? It's not bad. Um, I've had a blitz kit on a 99 clips before. And, sorry, I just got a text. It interrupts my phone. And I looked at a bunch of pictures to research how I was going to do this. And this is what I came up with so far. This is just starting out, guys. So give me some opinions on this. If you would, please, all my supporters. Um, I don't think this is too bad. I mean, I, I'm going to trim it up. This is my first template. So does this, I mean, need to come, need to go right there, my flare? Should it end right here? Should I try to open this up more and square it off? Um, will this be okay once I mold this into the bumper? I tried to do the foundation first for this, like underneath of it. And, you know, where it goes across the back, I had them built, these things right here. But I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I had to do the triangle flare part first. Now I can go back and build my platform that goes underneath of this and that goes around to support it, okay? Then I can figure out what I want to do now that I've got it made out of cardboard. So, after showing you guys that, um, and all my inspiration for these things and ideas, a lot of them come from Roy at Roy's Customs. If you're not on his page or subscribe to him, go subscribe. He's like me, okay? He's a big do-it-yourselfer, um, budget builder, you know, we're budget builders here, we're do-it-yourselfers, we like customs, um, he's got a ZX2, he put a lip kit all the way around, guys, and he fiberglassed it and built it from scratch, so go check it out, because that's where my inspiration comes from, um, so thanks, Roy, so anyway, what do you guys think, um, once I get this shape right and the platform underneath right, I think I'm going to get the um, foam board like Roy used and go ahead and do the bottom of it. But this part here, will this work out as the foam board and then just fleece some fiberglass over it? I think it will. If it doesn't, um, I had another idea. So I was talking to Roy yesterday and we came up with this idea of using foam in a can, okay? Because it hardens, it uh, swells up, and then you can shape it. Sorry, this camera's all kinds of crazy. Um, it's this right here. And you can get it at a hard, any local hardware store. I got it at Walmart. It's like three bucks a can. It's pretty cheap. Um, it's a big gap filler, and make sure you get the big gap filler, not the crack filler. Um, I'm going to do some more custom work on the car, and I'm probably going to use this for, like, fender flares and stuff that I'm going to do. But right now, I'm trying to decide what I want to do the Blitz idea with. So, so anyway, um, thanks for your support, guys. This is just going to be a quick video of what I was working on tonight. Um, I know some of you wanted to see how I was going to do this, so this is kind of the idea. And I made it really hard, and I got really mad at it for a minute, and I walked away from it. And then I looked at a bunch of pictures of Blitz kits, and I, and I finally figured it out. So I'm pretty proud. So anyway, 
This is Elle with DSM Chicks. If you're not subscribed, please go subscribe. We are do-it-yourselfers. We are awesome custom chicks. And you need to follow us. You know? Thanks to all my supporters. And remember, the Black Widow is built and not bought. Peace out, guys. Till later this weekend, probably.